High Res shows off its brand new third person team shooter. Riot Games is celebrating the Spirit Blossom Festival in both League of Legends and the Legends of Runeterra. Vindictus shows off its latest playable character, and it looks like Fantasy Star Online 2 is getting a graphics overhaul with New Genesis. What's good everyone, James Blonde here with your weekly recap of gaming news and announcements for the week of July 24th, 2020. And starting out the news this week, hi res and First Watch Games have officially kicked off the closed beta for Rogue Company on all platforms. So that's PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. Thankfully, the game supports crossplay and cross-save from the start, so you're really free to play on whatever platform best suits your needs. This third-person team shooter is kicking it off hot with a brand new playable character, Glitch, and the new Strikeout game mode. While Rogue Company is free to play, right now closed beta is only accessible through early access packs or beta key giveaways, so make sure you check out social media to unlock your way into play. I happen to get access through NVIDIA giveaways, so you might check that route if you're looking to try it out as well. Also launched this past week is the global version of Nexon's cross-platform MMORPG called V4. Available on mobile and PC with crossplay, V4 features real-time combat and player versus player versus enemy system in an open world. The game features six classes, dozens of customization options, and a player-driven marketplace. Grand opening events are ongoing and the game is free, so might be worth checking out. Back over to high res, Smite has revealed its next upcoming god, Sukuyomi. Brother to Amaterasu and Suzano, this Japanese god of the moon is designed to be like a lunar ninja, filling the assassin role. With a focus on attack range and boosting his basic attacks, Sukuyomi will be able to poke and assist from a distance more often before sweeping in to tackle his opponents and bring them down. In other news, Conqueror's Blade has kicked off its fourth season, Blood of the Empire. This update features the armies of the Anadolu Empire, based on historic Turkish forces. The free season update includes the new field battle map by land and sea, a new emote system, and four new units, Janissaries, Azops, Sidahars, and Sipais. And of course, there's also a new battle pass for the season, featuring new exclusive cosmetics, from new hero attire to 11 new weapon skins. Final Fantasy XIV has revealed the new cinematic trailer for its upcoming major patch 5.3 in Reflections in Crystal. Set to release on August 11th, this patch sees the continuation of the main storyline, a new Yora Alliance raid, a new dungeon, a new trial, and new beast tribe quests. It also marks a major shift in older content, as the game's original vanilla content has been reworked and streamlined. Not only that, they're also expanding the free trial to go all the way up to level 60 and include the game's first expansion, Heavensward. We haven't had any major news from Star Wars The Old Republic in a while, but this week, EA brought the sci-fi MMO onto Steam. The Steam version of the game does include cross-save and cross-play, so you can freely choose between Steam or the direct launcher. The Steam version also comes with many Steam community features, so trading cards, emotes, and backgrounds to earn through playtime, plus upcoming achievements that will be available both through Steam and in-game directly. EA is no doubt hoping to bring some fresh blood to Star Wars The Old Republic since the game is almost nine years old now. Next up, Riot Games is celebrating the Spirit Blossom Festival, not only in League of Legends, but also Legends of Runeterra. This limited event, which runs until late August, will work differently in both games, but features similar themes. In League of Legends, not only will players welcome the permanent champion Lilia, they can take part in special token missions and milestone missions, if you have the event pass. There are five new champion skins, plus other themed cosmetics to unlock as well. In Legends of Runeterra, players can complete quests to earn petals, which can then be exchanged for a bunch of other cosmetic rewards and shards. Only nine of these are available for free, but there's an additional 19 if you buy the event pass. There's some really gorgeous looking rewards in both games, so make sure you check it out. Vindictus is still going strong as it releases its 16th playable character this week. Lethra uses martial arts and auras to empower her attacks and unleash a flurry of blows on the enemies with skills such as Tiger Claw, Dragon Fang, and Aura Burst Rampage. She's excellent at chaining a combo of punches and utilizing two pieces of exclusive equipment, the Crest Master and the Black Gale. To celebrate, Vindictus is hosting some level up events for the next few weeks, so now's a great time to check out the game or come back to it. 
And Pokemon style MMO Tim Tim has also launched a new update this past week called Kesawa Island. This new area means new Tims to tame, new techniques and traits, and much more. The update also includes a redesigned and improved chat feature, and new clubs feature, which will let you join a clan up to 50 other players to connect socially in game, though there will be more clubs content in the future. The level cap has also increased, which means some existing Tims will be able to unlock their final evolution. Downside to this is that the game's base price has increased a little bit to reflect the addition of the new content, but if you have been looking for a Pokemon-style MMO, well, you can't really go wrong here. Novaquark is back in the news this week with a preview of the new character model for its sci-fi sandbox MMO Dual Universe. This is a sleek redesign of the original, meant to feel both functional and appealing. This update that brings the new character model also brings new character animations, including the introduction of emotes. Dual Universe is currently in testing and will launch into beta on August 27th. Meanwhile, Black Desert on console has released a timed exclusive of the newest class, Hashashin. A desert warrior, the Hashashin can manipulate Sandstorm and launch a flurry of melee attacks on their enemies. To celebrate, Black Desert is hosting some events, including a login rewards giveaway worth $130, additional rewards for those who can level the new class to 60, and boosted skill experience and drop rate for those who interact with scattered sandstorms. The class will come to PC at a later date, but that said... Black Desert is also hosting a special event right now where you can earn the base game for free if you reach level 50 within two weeks. Make sure you check out their official site for details. And surprising everyone watching the Xbox event on Thursday, Sega announced Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis with an epic new trailer. This update will feature an improved game system and graphics engine. Really, it looks like a complete engine overhaul of the game and it looks pretty slick. Not only that, but Sega has indicated that it'll be bringing this update globally, hinting that everyone might get this update at the same time. No idea when this is going live other than sometime in 2021, but it looks amazing. And we deserve this sort of thing right now. That about wraps up the news, but Epic Games delivers again with a killer summer sale going on that started yesterday on the 23rd and lasts until August 6th. Pretty decent sale prices on games like Borderlands 3, Control, and Saints Row the Third, but we also have two free while you can get them titles in Tacoma, a space station mystery adventure game with multiple paths and outcomes, and Next Up Hero, which seems like a fun hack and slash dungeon crawler with really bright visuals. These games are yours to keep if you get around to clicking that get button between now and this time next week. But with that said, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. Be sure to stay safe and keep your families healthy. Like always, you can find more information on the news topics linked in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, wash your hands a bunch, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.